Hey everybody, Pastor Scott here. It is May 8th, 2020, and it's time for a daily psalm. Our psalm today is Psalm 38. You're going to hear it first from the New Revised Standard Version from the Lutheran Study Bible, page 889. And then you're going to hear it from the contemporary translation called The Message by Eugene Peterson. Uh, the tag on this says, A Psalm of David for the Memorial Offering. So here we go. Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All day long I go around mourning. My loins are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs. My strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my affliction, and my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek to hurt me speak of ruin and meditate treachery all day long. But I am like the deaf. I do not hear, like the mute who cannot speak. Truly, I am like one who does not hear and in whose mouth is no retort. But it is for you, O Lord, that I wait. It is you, O Lord, my God, who will answer. For I pray, only do not let them rejoice over me, those who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I am sorry for my sin. Those who are my foes without cause are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good are my adversaries because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. All right, and now Psalm 38 from the message. Take a deep breath, God. Calm down. Don't be so hasty with your punishing rod. Your sharp pointed arrows of rebuke draw blood. My backside smarts from your caning. I've lost 20 pounds in two months because of your accusation. My bones are brittle as dry sticks because of my sin. I'm swamped by my bad behavior, collapsed under gunny sacks of guilt. The cuts in my flesh stink and grow maggots because I've lived so badly. And now I'm flat on my face, feeling sorry for myself, mourning tonight. All my insides are on fire. My body is a wreck. I'm on my last legs. I've had it. My life is a vomit of groans. Lord, my longings are sitting in plain sight. My groans, an old story to you. My heart's about to break. I'm a burned out case. Cataracts blind me to God and good. Old friends avoid me like the plague. My cousins never visit. My neighbors stab me in the back. My competitors blacken my name devoutly. They pray for my ruin. But I'm deaf and mute to it all. Ears shut, mouth shut. I don't hear a word they say. Don't speak a word in response. 
What I do, God, is wait for you. Wait for my Lord, my God. You will answer. I wait and pray so they won't laugh me off, won't smugly strut off when I stumble. I'm on the edge of losing it. The pain in my gut keeps burning. I'm ready to tell my story of failure. I'm no longer smug in my sin. My enemies are alive and in action. A lynch mob after my neck. I give out good and get back evil from God-haters who can't stand a God-lover. Don't dump on me, God, my God. Don't stand me up. Hurry and help me. I want some wide open space in my life.